All right, with back to school and cooler weather, of course, comes the start of the dreaded flu season. Well, here to share some healthy cleaning tips is John Hansen with The Maids. Thanks for being with us today. Yeah, no problem. I, I think that if you uh, really clean your house, uh, you can make it a healthier environment both for you and your family. And it's and, so and important, guests. especially this time of year. Yeah. All right, you have some easy tips for us. Yeah, the first one is get rid of your old feather duster. Oh. It's it, all it does it's is so 1950s, it, and it just it just and they have new fancier <laughs> mm -hmm. ways of doing it and all this stuff. But all it really does is spread dust or, and germs mm -hmm. around your house. So get a microfiber cloth or uh, something like that. You can spray some uh, uh, chemical right on there and clean. If you do it systematically, top to right, uh, uh, top to bottom, left, left to right, to right. Uh -huh. uh, you know, go around, do one room at a time, mm -hmm. uh, so it's not so overwhelming. But this you way, you're really actually removing the dust instead of just exactly. shuffling it. Exactly, exactly, and your and your home is is healthier and cleaner, and uh, and those allergens and germs are gone. So. Very good, very good. Uh, another thing you can do uh, is. Uh, you know, get a container of uh, disinfectant wipes mm -hmm. and uh, uh, disinfect your light switches, doorknobs, um, telephone receivers, anything that people are touching a lot, uh, a lot, and other the different remote. people. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Computer keyboards uh, are another huge thing uh, that spread germs. So good, good tip. All right. What else do you have in your um, magic bucket over there? Well, here? Uh, if you switch out your hand towels. Uh, for paper towels, especially when uh, guests are coming over, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. That way you're not, you know, spreading germs. Same thing for uh, shoes, you know, ask your mm -hmm. guests to remove their shoes or especially your, your children mm -hmm. uh, so that they're not tracking those germs uh, through the house. That'll, that'll keep you healthy as well. And it saves well. your carpeting at the same time. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. And um, anything else? Yeah, well, I mean, there's, uh, uh, speaking of carpeting, uh, you want to make sure you vacuum, vacuum that off and vacuum it last after you've done the dusting. Okay, so, so that as get dust all settles. the junk down and then clean it all up. Yeah, and uh, if you have hard surface floors, uh, wood floors or tile, mm -hmm. you want to make sure you're mopping that quite often because carpet actually acts as a filter uh, and can, and that way you can remove it through vacuuming, but with hard surface floors that doesn't happen, so gotcha. you want to make sure you mop, get it, keep a swifter around or something like that to Wonderful. Really take that. Well, good advice as always. Thanks so yeah. much for being with us today. Well, thank you. All right.